hello so mates today we are going to learn how to make a basic sleeve just like the basic bodies the basic sleeve is important for our foundational class because if you don't know how to make a basic sleeve how do you want to know how to make different kinds of sleeves so the four measurements we need for the basic sleeve are number one your round armhole measurements you get your tape pull and measure round your armhole then the next measurement will be a round sleeve measurement which is round your sleeve depending on what part of the sleeve you want it to be but for the basic sleeve it's just going to be around this your bicep region then the third measurement you would need is your sleeve length and this is going to be from your shoulder measurement to wherever you want your sleeve to be but for the basic sleeve measurement it's just going to be like from your shoulder measurement to somewhere around here and that's that then the fourth measurement is your cap measurement and to get that it's going to be your bust measurement divided by 12 plus 0.5 inch don't worry i will explain as we go on to the drafting of our sleeve if you're watching me for the first time my name is ada and i'm the creative director of ada's empire do well to stay subscribed to the channel for more sewing tutorials so let's go the first thing to note about this basic sleeve tutorial is that there are different ways of drafting your basic sleeve so this is the way i draft mine you could find other tutorials teaching you how to draft the basic sleeve it just depends on the method you want to use for my clients the length i'll be using is nine inches plus seam and hem allowance of two inches so the length will be 11 inches for her round armhole measurement it is 14 inches divided by two would give us seven inches then for the round sleeve measurement it is 12 inches divided by two which is six inches plus one which is seven inches then for our cap measurement her bust is 35 inches divided by 12 plus 0 0.5 is about 3.4 inches so that's the measurement I need for my basic sleeve. Now to draft the basic sleeve, I'm going to be using this paper. I have folded it into two because I want us to draft both the back part of the sleeve and the front part of the sleeve. Because for you to draft a proper basic sleeve, the front and back would not be the same the first thing we are going to do is to impute the cap measurement which we already got which is 3.4 so from the beginning of our pattern from the beginning of our paper we will be imputing the 3.4 inches then we'll take our ruler to mark it out Now, once we have done that, right at this cap line measurement, we are going to take our client's round armhole measurement. And we have gotten ours as 7 inches. So, right at the cap line, we will mark 7 inches. Which is what we have done right now. Now, after we have marked these 7 inches, we would connect these 7 inches to the beginning of our pattern paper now after connecting we would use our tape rule to measure from here to here it's not going to be the same seven inches so we've gotten eight inches after we have gotten eight inches we'll divide it into two so eight divided by two would be four inches and we would mark the four inches we have gotten so this is the four inches that we have gotten. Now, after that, we will come up by one inch, right where the four inches is. We'll come up by one inch, and that is it. Now, at this point, we we'll get our core ruler. I don't have my core ruler here. We we'll get my, our core ruler and connect from the beginning to this part. So we we'll use your core ruler and it is going to have this curve so now we are not done 
but let's still continue. Right now, we are going to be taking the sleeve length. And I said it's 11 inches for my client. So, we would measure out to 11 inches. Some people take this measurement even before the main measurement, but it doesn't really matter. Whichever one you're comfortable with. So this is the length of my sleeve. So right at this measurement, we are going to be taking our client's round sleeve measurement, which is seven inches. So seven inches here. Then we'll get our ruler and connect from here to here. Most times it's so almost slanted, something that looks like this. So that's our seven inches. Now at this point, we are done drafting our basic sleeve for the back. But one thing is that some people may choose to leave this sleeve like this, but I would not because I know that the front part of our armhole and sleeve goes inside more than the back side. So I always ensure to also effect that even when i'm drafting my basic sleeve because you can remember in our basic bodies video there was a difference in the front and back armhole if you've not watched the video i will be linking it up so you would refresh your memory now we're going to be using another marker so right where we have this four inches which we drafted we are going to get our curve ruler I wish I came with my curve ruler today, but unfortunately I did not. But we will still draft with the free hand and you can use your curve ruler if you have any. So right now, from this four inches, we would come down by half inch. Remember that we went up by one inch, but now we'll come down by half inch. So we'll come down by half inch, which is what we've done right now. So now we're going to be connecting from this part to this part and would flow it down to this part. So if you have your curve ruler, it is going to look like this. It is going to look like this. Something like this. Now that will be for the back block. I'm going to start all over again just to refresh your memory. So the first thing we did was to get our cap line, which I already said it's your bust divided by 12 plus 0.5. After we've gotten our cap line, right at this measurement, we, we got our round armhole measurement, which is this. Then we used our ruler to connect from this part to the beginning of our pattern paper. Then after doing that, we used our sewing tape to get the exact measurement. After we got that, we divided the exact measurement into two. Then we went up by one inch. And after that, we connected everything to this part. And that makes up the back sleeve. By the way, we also got our sleeve length and our round sleeve measurement. Now, after doing that, we decided to get our front sleeve measurement still from this pattern. And from the middle of our sleeve right here, we came down by half inch and we use our curve ruler to make the connection. So now we are going to be cutting. Now when you are cutting your basic sleeve, this is something to take note of. So when you are drafting out your basic sleeve, ensure that you just cut out the normal back sleeve. So that's what we are going to be doing right now. So this is my basic sleeve. But see what we are going to do now. We would create a notch in the middle, then open it up. So this is our basic sleeve that we can use. But for the front, we want to create something different. So we would open it up like this and cut like this for the front. So that's basically it. And this is what you are going to do for both parts of your basic sleeve. But please ensure that you don't cut two right sides or two wrong sides. And the best way to ensure you don't make that mistake is if you cut one part like this, ensure that 
when you are cutting the other sleeve it is going to face the other side now bear in mind that it's because i'm using the paper that's why i'm just cutting one sleeve but if you are cutting it on your fabric it's going to be two so do not cut the two sides together separate your fabrics cut the front part of one then turn it the other way and cut the front part of the other so one will be looking like this and the other will be looking like this now if you watch any of my videos where i drafted the basic sleeve you will take note of how the cutting has been and going forward after this knowledge you would be more aware of how i cut so this is basically how i've cut my basic sleeve so in any case where i talk about a basic sleeve a basic bodies at the very least you know exactly what i'm talking about so thank you for watching the basic sleeve tutorial if you enjoyed the tutorial and you want more i'm going to be linking a playlist for every beginner's kind of video from the basic bodies to various beginner videos just for your viewing pleasure and by the way if you've not subscribed yet this is a good time to do so if you don't like this video this is a good time to do so and i'm going to be seeing you next week bye